Well, hello guys and welcome back to our channel RG Automobile, a channel of an YouTube in which we discuss about the parts of an automobile. So, in order to discuss today's topic, think about it guys. We are riding our vehicles since last 150 years, but did you know about that? How your vehicle move from one place to another place? So, in order to know that system, today we are going to discuss about the transmission system. A system through which our vehicle move from one place to another place. So, the transmission system. The transmission system basically consists of this part. First one is an engine, second is a flywheel, then clutch, fourth is a gearbox, fifth is a propeller shaft, sixth is a universal joints, seventh is a differential, eighth is an axle, and ninth is a wheel. So these are the basic part of the transmission system. Here we have first one is an engine. So an engine is a power plant of a vehicle through which the chemical energy of a fuel is converted into the mechanical energy and power is transmitted to further in the system. After this engine, the flywheel is situated. A flywheel is a rotating mechanical device which stores the energy produced by the engine and release as per the requirement in the, in the system. Third one is a clutch which is used to engage and disengage the engine shaft. After this, so the fourth is a gearbox. In this gearbox, two shafts are present. First one is a main shaft, second one is a lay shaft. On which a number of gears are present as per the requirement. The gearbox can be gliding mesh, constant mesh or synchro mesh. We will discuss further on that. After this gearbox, to transmit the power of gearbox to the wheels, we use the propeller shaft. This propeller shaft is coupled with the help of a universal joint. These are the universal joint through which the gear power is transmitted into the differential. After this universal joint, differential is situated. Differential is used to transmit the power of a propeller shaft in the 90 degrees for the axles. After this differential, the power is transmitted to these axles and then transmitted into the wheels. So these are the basic parts of a transmission system. Now we will discuss the working of transmission system. So first of all, the engine is a power plant through which power is generated and then transmit to the flywheel which stores the energy and then release as per the requirement. After this, the clutch is situated then gearbox. When the power of the engine is transferred to the gearbox, as per the requirement, the clutch is engaged or disengaged that shaft. Then in the gearbox, power is converted. The gearbox converts the torque in the high or can be low as per the requirement. After this gearbox, power is transmitted to the propeller shaft then differential and the differential the combination of the bevel gear and pinion in the differential bevel gear is used to transmit the power in the 90 degrees and and also the number of gears are present in the differential to transmit the power in the turning or any different conditions. After this power is transmitted into the axles and then in the wheel. So this is the working of a transmission system. Here we, here we use a four wheel drive. In this system four wheel drive means all wheel drive. The power is present in the all of the four wheels. Power is transmitted from the gearbox to the front wheel means front axle and rear axle. If it can be a front wheel drive or rear wheel drive or all wheel. If the rear wheel drive then the power is transmitted in the rear means only this part is on working. If we discuss about the front wheel drive then only the front system is work. So this is a transmission system of vehicle 
So we, we can propel our vehicle from one place to another place. So thanks for watching guys. Our channel RG Automobile. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe.